Hello guys, Robot1 here, and today I am doing a new segment on the channel, which is replacing Side Deck Friday, because Side Deck Friday just isn't getting enough views or likes or anything, so that segment's being taken down and being replaced with this segment, and this segment is called Fantasy Support Cards. Now, what is the Fantasy Support Card segment? Well, the Fantasy Support Card segment is a segment on my channel where I'm going to be making Yu-Gi-Oh cards for different archetypes that I think would be really cool to bring into the game. Either we're missing these cards because I think that Konami aren't just going to make them because there's quite a few cards in this game that you think, huh, we're missing some cards from this archetype. So... I'm just essentially making these cards and seeing if you guys would like them. So, yeah, guys. Um, essentially, this is going to be also saying could these make the deck even better or even meta. So, yeah. So let's get into these cards. Um, the first archetype we're going to be doing is obviously going to be my favorite archetype, which is the hero archetype, and. We're going to be focusing on the Masked Hero side, because Masked Heroes are technically missing some cards. Say, a level 8 Fire Masked Hero and a level 6 Earth Masked Hero, which I just thought I'll come up with. Now, um, I've also added in another card, which is a new Mask Change card, which I hope you guys like as well. So, let's get into it with the first card we're going to be talking about, which is the f new Fire Master Hero that I came up with called Mast Hero Lava Master. Now, Mast Hero Lava Master is a fire level 8 um, warrior effect fusion, 2600 attack, 2100 defense. Its effect is, must be, fusion must be summoned by mask change and cannot be, su cannot be su summoned by other ways. When this card is special summoned, destroy all other monsters on the field. Now, I thought that this card would be an interesting card to make because Masked Heroes are missing a level 6 Fire Masked Hero. Plus, I kind of wanted this to be the opposite of element of Masked Hero Acid, where Acid destroys all Spell and Trap cards on the field. This will be destroying all monster or monsters on the field so it'll be destroying all other monsters on the field and not including yourself meaning it won't just be killing your your opponent's monster it will be killing yourself as well which i thought would give the card a bit of balance in the in that sense because just being able to destroy all your opponent's monsters and then going for game is something that heroes can do very easily and they can go for big damage so i thought make to make this balanced i would have to be killing all other monsters I control along with that this card other than this card because it would make the card a balanced card um it's but I also thought it would be a good idea just to be able to make something else other than absolute zero that can destroy all monsters on the field so it's pretty cool um obviously opposite of acid, acid again and yeah, just something I thought would be really good to add to the archetype as a Fire Mask Hero. Because you obviously want to make it a good card, otherwise you're not going to run it. Um, the next fantasy support card is Masked Hero Quake. Um, Masked Hero Quake is an Earth level 6 fusion, uh, warrior fusion effects monster. 2200 attack, 2700 defense. So it's basically a big butt, essentially, and with 2200 attack, it can get over it, do some things, but it, you're mainly going to want to have this card in attack. Um, its effect is, must be summoned by Mars Change and cannot be summoned by other ways. When this card destroys, an, destroys a monster by battle, you can special summon one hero monster from your graveyard, ignoring summoning conditions. So my pro full process behind this was that my heroes technically only have one way of summoning their elemental hero count, ha summoning elemental heroes from the graveyard, um, and that would be elemental hero core. So I thought if I made a master hero quake, that would give the deck a new edge, and it would make more earth monsters use the deck. Also, it would make form change a more viable card, and. Making form change a more viable card is really good because 
Currently, we only have really one card we would use form change for, because we only use Dark Lore as a level 6, and that would be to go into Vapor. And I don't use Vapor for certain reasons, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, but having a card that, when it destroys any monster by battle, to just special summon any hero from the graveyard, um, ignoring summoning conditions can really make heroes a better deck. And I thought adding this sort of thing into the gate into the deck would be a very interesting effect. So, um, that's the reasoning behind making this card, because it's a card that initially allows you to summon your monsters back from the graveyard, and you can summon any monster back from the graveyard, and also, I kind of wanted to do something with the same as Diane with this card, because Diane, um, Diane is a card that, when it destroys a monster by battle, it special summons one from the deck. I wanted Quake to be kind of the opposite, where it summons from the grave, so... It's a very, it's something I really wanted to make, and it looks, and I just really think it's a cool card addition that could come into the hero deck. And the final fantasy support card for Masked Heroes is Mask Change Free. Now, Mask Change Free is a quick play spell card with, and now guys, before you get into this, it is going to be quite busted because I thought making Mask Change Free a little better than other Masked Hero Mask Change cards could be really good. So, yeah. Um, its effect is, well, it's a quick play spell card, obviously, and its effect is, this card is always treated as mass change. Target one face-up fusion monster as cost, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon one fusion hero monster from your extra deck or graveyard, ignoring summoning conditions. So, the reasoning behind that part of the effect was... We don't actually have any way other than polymerization to summon stuff like Absolute Zero, um, Great Tornado, uh, Diet, um, Gaia, all these things. So I thought incorporating Mass Change Free would make the Elemental Hero side of the Hero deck a better side to it, and it's um, it just makes me think that'd be a really good thing to actually add into the deck and its last effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard to add one mass change card from your deck to your hand now the reason for this was we don't we only really have one way to search mass change and mass change being one of the key cards to the deck really does mean that there's uh, it's really hard to get to so i thought making this card would make mass change a better card to actually use and it would just be an easier way to get to the hand um also guys the reason i thought this card would be a bit more balanced is because you actually have to you actually have to um target a fusion hero monster making that part of the effect a little more balanced so yeah guys those are my free fantasy support cards for masked heroes heroes whatever you want to call them um, tell me what you think of these three new hero cards that I have in made up um, in the comment section below. And tell me if you like this new segment of um, fantasy support cards. And as always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.